Hello Aces, welcome back to module 7, lesson number 6.1, the secret sauce, 360 ads. In this lesson, what you're going to be learning is why you should be running 360 ads for your restaurant. Now's the time to do so. I know this is the sexy stuff. A lot of people will jump into this right away, but only come to this when you have your foundation sets, when you have your align and connection done. Then we come into this module, then we come into what is truly going to get you some financial freedom. In this lesson, what we're going to be talking about is what are 360 ads? 360 ads are getting your food and beverage shop seen everywhere your customer goes. We're talking about TV ads. We're talking about surveys, Google search, direct mail, sales, Yelp, word of mouth, social media, PR, and bus ads. Like basically anywhere they go, they cannot escape you. That's what I mean by running 360 ads. And if you think that you need deep pockets to do that, you don't need it. And that's why we're going through this whole module together. Why it is so important to do so. Why does it matter? Because typically it takes 500 different touch points for anyone to make a decision to purchase a flight. That's how much they need to see you and see something relevant to you before they decide to purchase a flight. So imagine how many times a human needs to actually think about it. 500 times, guys. But lucky for you, deciding where to eat typically only takes 20 different touch points. So if you don't understand touch point too much, and if you don't understand the 1K fan journey, then definitely go back to module six and lesson six to get a refresher on what your 1K fan journey looks like. Now, a sample fan journey for those of you who are still here is basically someone talks about this new restaurant in town. Then two days later, they see your restaurant on Instagram. And then on a call with a friend, they just bring this up that, hey, you know what? Where do you want to go eat? Oh, you know what? This place looks pretty good to go. Then you do some research online and you see, you see that they have some good reviews and you tell your friend that, hey, let's go try out this new place. That's a sample journey that we're talking about now. For all the touch points specifically, when their friends talk about passing by your restaurant, that itself is a touch point because your restaurant pops in mind. It comes into radar. Second is that they see that a friend posts about your restaurant on Instagram. Oh, okay, cool. I see that my friend's eating there. That's another touch point, right? They hear about it once, they see it for themselves, and then they see an article talking about your shop. Hey, you know what? Best 10 eats in Vancouver and automatically, oh, cool, your restaurant's there. That's another touch point. They see a post from an influencer, a foodie talking about your restaurant. Oh, cool, that's another touch point. You see how these are all individual touch points that start stacking together without us realizing. When you can craft, when you can actually um, craft these experiences, craft these touch points, you have increased your odds of turning these people into customers. And that's the reason why we're going through this module is for us to actually intentfully craft the touch points. So then that way you have much more chances of getting more customers. Carrying on with this whole example, then your family members talks about seeing your shop and your restaurant, and then they see your uh, food and beverage shop on Facebook. Now, instead of seeing it on Instagram, then they go check out your shop's website. That's another touch point. They see a collab with the favorite coffee brand on your Instagram, cool stuff. Then they drive by your shop and pay uh, on the way to visit a friend and they see, oh, cool, they have a line up out the door. Oh, hey, you know what? That's the shop that we've been talking about. That's the shop that we see an article on. And these are just, subconscious touch points that people see. Now they start following you on Instagram. Now they start to stalk you on Facebook because they're like, oh, this restaurant just keeps popping up on my feed. But then they cannot identify exactly all these touch points. And the power for us to actually identify these touch points is the fact that now that we're aware of it, what's gonna happen? Now we can actually intentfully craft that experience. Then they read reviews on Yelp to make sure that, hey, this place is worth going to. And then they finally decide to come and check out your spot. And as you can see here, this is only 10 different, no, 12 different touch points. Typically speaking, it requires 
20 touch points for anyone to decide to come and eat at your restaurant. So that's the reason why it's super important for us to intentfully craft the whole experience and why 360 ads with Instagram and Facebook is so, so important. It is so important because these two are the biggest platforms currently as we speak and TikTok is coming up. Um, but then the thing is, it's still not too suitable for us to run advertisement to it yet. Now things might change later on, but in today's world, we're still thinking and still seeing that Instagram and Facebook is the place where everyone's attention is. It is very, very affordable in comparison to traditional forms such as radio ads, such as newspaper. And on top of that, you can actually track your results. Also, something that is super, super key when you are running ads on Instagram and Facebook is the fact that you can hyper target your audience. That means you can target your ads to show people who have a specific geographic that they're within five kilometers radius of your restaurant. And why is that the case? It is because people don't travel too far out from where they live in order to eat. Now come back to you as an example. When was the last time you drove more than 15 or 20 minutes away just for food? Pretty rare for that to happen because typically speaking, you're either ordering DoorDash, Uber Eats, or you drive maybe like five, 10 minutes away from your house to eat at that uh, Vietnamese place. That's the reason why you target people within five kilometers radius. You can also target people based on, upon their sex, their age, interests, and their profession, etc., etc. Hyper-targeted audience. Once again, you can target people on where they live, live around this radius. That's really, really effective because when you're running a promotion and if you're running a promotion here, you're showcasing people here, your restaurant, most likely they're not going to come to your restaurant because it takes what, 20, 30 minutes to get to your restaurant. And I'm not to say that, Hey, they won't come and visit you, but when you're running advertisement, you should really target and become the go-to spot for these people around the community. They should all know about you before you reach out to these guys, okay? You can target people who love your shop as well, who follow you. You can target people who are friends with people who love your shop. This is called a uh, custom audience, right? So, um, and best of all, this whole thing can cost less than $5 a day. That's a cup of coffee, and yet you can actually reach thousands of people to showcase and be in their radar. Now, there are two rules of thumb when running 360 ads. And if you don't know how to run it, it is completely okay. We don't need to do this. It's not a must. This is an advanced strategy that we're talking about. And if this is just going by you like crazy, it is okay. Your whole point is to understand the concept, understand the principle. You can find the tech guys to help you execute. It is completely okay. But these are the two things to remember. The first thing is that you are not selling. Okay. Make sure that when you're running your advertisement, you're not selling because when it comes to food, when it comes to selling stuff online, it's not about hard pushing something down someone's throat because people will just reject that. In today's world, when people sense that you're selling something, they automatically put up a guard. And that's the reason why we want to go against that. We're not selling stuff because it is super annoying. Every time I see an ad, I skip, but if it's something that's valuable and if it's something that is interesting, I will pay a little bit more attention to it. And that's the reason why you find your parents annoying. They keep nagging you, nagging you, nagging you, right? Preach, keep preaching the same thing over and over again. And we're just tired of seeing promotions. We're just tired of seeing, Hey, you know what? Come in to try out our newest dishes and all these things. What we should be doing, the whole point is to remind your customers remind people of your existence. You are just basically increasing the touch points that people get to see you. They see you on Facebook. They see you on Instagram, maybe multiple times every single month. And basically whenever they think about Vietnamese food, they think about you because you just keep popping up on their feet. So if they're craving for something Vietnamese and let's say you do have a Vietnamese food restaurant, then automatically you come to mind, right? And you need to be able to, while you're, uh, presenting your ad, you need to plant your vision. You need to plant your values and also your mission. And we covered all this in module one to module six. You need to make sure you translate that to your audience. And what this actually does is that you slowly nurture the relationship between you and your customers. Just like how some of you have been watching my YouTube videos for years, if not months 
right? So now we have built a trust. Now we have built a relationship. You see that I'm consistent. You see I am who I am. And I'm not some kind of scammer online who just gives out fake shit, right? I am here to provide value. And that's the reason why you bought into this course because I'm consistent and I am not a fake. And same thing with you. You need to present yourself as someone who is consistent that your restaurant is not a fad restaurant and that you have good quality food. And that's what you're doing. You're running ads to showcase all these items. And for $5 a day, you can definitely afford to showcase yourself to them. Second of all, if you have never done any Facebook ads before, find someone to help you execute. I would highly, highly recommend you to do so. How you can find people, either put up a, a posting on Craigslist, or you can actually ask your friends and family, or just go on upwork.com or fiverr.com, right? These two are good places for you to actually find some help. Actually, you know what, right here, um, yeah, fiverr.com or upwork.com, guys. These are two great resources which you can actually find people to help you online, okay? Just understand the strategy and the purpose of why you're running these ads currently. And then in, the, in the next lesson, we're gonna cover how you're gonna be able to set it up. And once again, I would highly recommend you to get someone else who has done it and who's been there to run these ads for you. So in this lesson, you've just learned why it is super important to run 360 ads. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to set up your 360 ads to properly get the best results that you're looking for. And this becomes your engine to keep churning customers around the clock for your restaurant. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.